On vehicles with Immobilizer 3, when the car left the factory, the engine control module and immobilizer had the same PIN information. Whenever the engine control module or instrument cluster with integrated immobilizer is replaced, then the replacement module needs to be adapted to the vehicle. In order to do this with VCDS, you must have the required PIN numbers. VCDS does not retrieve PIN numbers and the dealer does not have access to this information as well. You will need to find a local locksmith who has the specialized equipment to retrieve the encrypted pins from the instrument cluster and possibly the engine control module. When replacing the instrument cluster, doesn't matter if you purchase a new unit or install a used unit, the adaption process is the same. Note that on used instrument clusters, VCDS cannot adjust the odometer. With the replacement instrument cluster installed, connect to it. On the open controller screen of the instrument cluster, with the used cluster, you will see the VIN number from the donor car, as well as the immobilizer serial number. On a new cluster, there will be X's listed instead of a VIN, but there will still be an immobilizer serial number. Click on Login 11. Type in the PIN information of the replacement cluster and click on Do It. Now click on Adaptation 10 and read channel 50. Clear out the new value field and type in the PIN information of the original instrument cluster and then click on Test. It is normal for the test value to display 32,000 after clicking test and you should see the VIN information that will be ported over displayed in fields 1 and 2. Now click on save and confirm yes. Click done, go back, and then exit out of the instrument cluster by clicking on close controller go back. Now remove the key from the ignition and wait one minute. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. After the ignition has been off for at least one minute, turn it back on and go back into the instrument cluster. You should now see the correct VIN number listed in the extra field. In many cases, the old VIN that the used instrument cluster came from will still be displayed, but the immobilizer serial number will now match the original instrument cluster. When the instrument cluster is replaced, the keys will need to be adapted. Go into Login 11 and type in the original instrument cluster's PIN. The PIN of the replacement cluster has been erased and it now uses the same PIN as the original instrument cluster. Please see our Immobilizer Key Adaptation video for details on key adaptation. When replacing the engine control module, there is an extra step involved with a used engine control module versus a new engine control module from the dealer. A used engine control module is locked down to the vehicle it came from and has a pin. A new engine control module from the dealer is not locked down and as such does not have a pin. In this example, a used engine control module is being installed. You may find the VIN and immobilizer serial number in the extra field. If not there, then look in measuring block group 081. A new engine control module will have just X's instead of a VIN and immobilizer serial number. Since this is a used engine control module, the following is the extra step involved. From the open controller screen, click on coding 2, 11. Input the used engine control module's PIN number and then click Do It. In most cases, you will get a message confirming the correct PIN has been accepted. Click OK. That completes the extra step required with a used engine control module. Now click on Adaptation 10 and read channel 50. Clear out the new value field and type in the PIN information of the original engine control module and then click on Test. It is normal for the test value to display 32,000 after clicking test and you should see the VIN information that will be ported over displayed in the fields 1 and 2. Now click on save and confirm yes. Click on done, go back and then exit out of the engine control module by clicking close controller go back. 
Now remove the key from the ignition and wait one minute. Yum, yum. It's a meal in itself. Our all-meat super dog. Enjoy one now. After the ignition has been off for at least one minute, turn it back on and go back into the engine control module. Go into the measuring value block group 081 and you should now see the correct VIN and immobilizer serial number, the same data that the original engine control module had. Exit out of the engine control module and you should now be able to start the engine.